and imagine only five minutes or ten minutes of freestyle in the stadium, and you already got a big crowd, you know, just staring at you. Super hard. How the hell did you do that? Oh my god! <laughs> that is really satisfying. It's really an indescribable emotion, and that's five reasons. Those five reasons, I think, is the most important thing for people to get into freestyle and become freestylers. But now, when I get, when I learn with what freestyle is, and how, uh, and um, what are the benefits of freestyle, then some of you may get interested and ask, all right, uh, all right, I think I'm interested, but how am I actually become a freestyler, freestyler like you? How am I actually start? All right, that's a good question. Because, yeah, you know, freestyle as any other kinds of sport has own set dictionary of um, tricks and moves. And so we have beginner tricks, intermediate tricks, hard tricks, extreme tricks, gravi gravity defined tricks, tricks so hard that people don't even bother doing, you name it. But then beginner tricks are the one that you should begin first so that you can have a hang of what freestyle is about and begin to get into freestyle. Now I will show you the three beginner tricks. First all, next stall and around the world, which is basically get you started. But before we do any tricks, we must know that freestyle is about practice. And if you don't practice, you won't succeed. And the first thing you want to practice is how you can keep the ball up in the air about 10 times. Consistently, every time. Because without juggling, the, the, without juggling, you won't do some, some of the moves right here. And now, I will show you the first move called the first stop. The first stop is the most simple trick in freestyle. There's no other trick that is simpler than the first stop. And, but, you, but it is really important because you will need this trick to practice other tricks. The uh, first stop is just basically balance the ball on the top of your foot. It looks like this. This is the first stall position. And the way you're going about doing that is from step by step, from the be beginning to the end. From the beginning, just take the ball by your hands, place it into a full stall position, hold it there for as long as you can. You may, you may get only five seconds first, when after a whole lot of practice, you begin to familiarize yourself with it. 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, and then 40 seconds. <coughs> and when you get to the one minute and two minute mark, you know you have enough confidence and consistency to begin to the next stage. The next stage of the footstall is simply rolling the ball from the ground onto a footstall position. Like this. Let's do that again. And hold it there. And so this will teach you how to cope with um, the different positions that your balls are in. Firstly, it's on the ground, but then you got it on the first stop, the changing of positions. And it will also get you familiarize yourself with the first stop even more before you do, uh, be before you continue on to the last step and also the hardest step in the tutorial, which is basically catching the ball in a first stop from jumping. <coughs> That is how you're going about doing the first stop. And the next move I want to show you is called the next stop. The next stop is the most simple upper body trick. And the upper body trick are the tricks that are done using the upper parts of your body. The head, the neck, the shoulder, the chest, or even, or even weirder locations like the eye or the side of your mouth. Yeah, but now we're just considering, consider ourselves familiarized with the next stall first because this is the simple and most basic trick in upper freestyle. Next stall equals balancing the ball on the back of your neck. This is the next stall position. As you can see, the ball is perfectly balanced on the back of my neck. 
And then to do it, firstly, start just like foot stop. Take the ball by hand and clamp it on your neck. This. <laughs> yeah. Clamp it on your neck. Try to try to get try to get yourself familiarized with the position and do everything you can to get to get the ball to get the balls to stay in this position. You can get your heads up, level level your level your back, and then even get your hands like a chicken if you want to. But <laughs> but yeah, after a time after a time you will get to an even more comfortable position and then your hands will be like like that and then like this, like this, and then like this. All right, and now the second step, which is the changing of positions, is that when you slam the ball down to the ground and it pops up, and then you try to catch the ball with your neck. <clears throat> Basically like that. This will allow you to, to time the catch, to actually time the catching of the ball when it go up and drop down to your neck. And now the third step, and the most difficult step is that you try to catch the ball just like you catch the ball from the previous step, but from a jump, um, from a foot stall position. Foot stall, next stall. Just like that. And that is step by step on how you can do a next stall. All right, now. I will show you the last and the most difficult move in all the beginner tricks. I can confidently say that. It took me six months before I can actually do this trick and master it. This is called the around the world. Or your so-called ATW or ATB. I don't know why it's called ATB, but apparently a Swedish dude named Pale Rikasho Slander. He was the king of king of around the world. He wants to 80, 80 around the world in a row. But then again, when, when he gets uh, interviewed by a whole bunch of Hungarian guys named Freestyle Foxy, he, he actually said that, Oh yeah, my girlfriend uh, will actually know only one trick, name only one trick in Freestyle, that's it's uh, ATV, aka Around the World. And then people say, Oh, ATV, not ATW. But then that's, that's what the king says so. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna say so too. Alright, ATV for life! <laughs> anyway, and that's how ATV replace ATW as a round world. And this is the most basic lower body trick, officially invented by Diego Maradona. Although some sources and some recent videos do say that Francis Broom, a circus player from 1941, actually invented the trick before him. And the controversy continues. <laughs> see, see you on the next, uh, see, see you on the next uh, uh, you know, chapter. <laughs> and uh, around the world is basically a complete revolution around the ball using one leg. You kick the ball up using one of your, one of your feet and then circle your foot around the ball before getting, getting underneath to juggle the ball again. It looks like this. Or this. Okay, it can be done by two ways. And I demonstrated above the outside around the world and the inside around the world. Now to do it, step by step. Number one, do a foot stop. And that is why the foot stop is so important. You will need it to do all the tricks. So first step, do a foot stop. And then second step, shift the ball from the from the center of your foot to either your small toe so that you can do an outside around the world so, or the big toe so that you can do an inside around the world. Right now I'm going to show you an outside around the world so I'm going to shift the ball into my small toe by using my hands. Anyway, I cheated. Yeah, and then the next step is basically just do the revolution. And if the revolution don't come in first, don't get frustrated because it took me six months. I don't know how long it will take you. But anyway, but anyway, if you don't get it at first, don't get frustrated because this is not really natural. <laughs> you, uh, it's not an it's not a everyday, everyday kind of thing to get, to get one foot around a round object. 
it just doesn't feel right. You have to get your leg get familiar.